Hello, good afternoon. The subject of this presentation is the open data service that the Catalonia government is implementing and how is it changing the administration in Catalonia. Uh, my name is Nuria Majo. I work for the CTTI, the Information Technology Center of the Generalitat of Catalonia. CTTI is in charge of IT management from the Catalan government. I'm now part of a team who's been working for quite a long time on the Open Data project. I'm part of this team and I'm now here on behalf of them all. So some of them are around here, some not. My presentation would be about open data. We'll start with a few concepts of what open data is. Then we'll focus on the open data strategy of the Generalitat of Catalonia. We'll figure out the organizational structure and technological architecture that supports this strategy. We'll see potential uses and a few examples of already built that now have now. And finally, we'll have a look at the roadmap. As we said, just begin with a little introduction. Open data is a global movement that promotes free access to certain data, especially those data of the public administration built using public resources. The term open data appeared for the first time in a document right by the American agency. In 2007, a group of activists of the internet debated about the concept and his ideas influenced the Obama open government politics. And finally, 2030, the G8 leaders signed the G8 Open Data Charter that established the principles of the open data policy. Uh, just to remember, those principles of the Open Data Charter were that data should be open by default, timely and comprehensive, accessible and usable, comparable and interoperable, and should be open for improved governance and citizen engagement, and for inclusive de development and innovation. And why are we opening the data? It's essentially for two objectives. The main one, transparency of public policies, so citizen accountability, and to create opportunities of economic growth. Some typical applications are data journalism, where journalists can criticize the information and analyze information, studies and investigation, which is a way to maximize the return of investment done to create this data. Software applications, citizens and everyone can create applications using this data. And even a sort of new products and service that we cannot even imagine. We just open the data and the society can use it in a uses that we cannot even figure out. Now let's focus a little bit on more on the subject, which is the strategy of the Generalitat de Catalonia government. The open government represents an important cultural change. It's what we say, a paradigm change. We came from a situation where data was not open by default and there was a legal framework that regulates what has to be published. Since the open data strategy, there's been a, what we say a change of paradigm and now data is open by default and there's a legal framework that regulates the limits of this. Especially since the law of 2040, the information is open by default except for those limits 
that say public safety or privacy. Let's have a look of the open data initiatives in Catalonia. In 2010, the Generalitat de Catalonia created the first open data portal. It was then on depending on the publicity and diffusion area from the government. An important fact that shows the concern of the government with this transparency and open government policies was the creation of the Secretariat of Transparency of Open Government. Together, a few months later, we released the first open data portal together with an open government plan that established the policies and the directives of the government in the few following years, 2017 and 80. In this open government plan, there was a specific chapter related on open data that established strategic objects and a few set of actions to do on this subject. And finally, quite recently, a few months ago, we published a new version of the open data portal. So according to this strategy, there's an open government portal which has three subsites, open data, transparency, and citizen participation. This is the aspect of the home page of the open data. The main functionality is to search on the open data catalog. You just type the keywords and you get, you search on the either description of keywords of the catalog and you get a list of the data sets that match your search. Then you can navigate through the metadata and the data itself. In the open data catalog, we can find four types of data. The most typical one are the tabular data sets, which are columns, typically Excel files or CVA, CSV. We also have maps or geographical data sets, typically shape files or KML. Another sort of type are attached files, which are files which are not tabular but are also stored on the portal. And the last are just references to data sets which are not really stored on the portal. So they typically are links to web pages where you can find a data. We have now 545 data sets published. Uh, all of them, 100%, are accessible through the API to consult metadata. A great part of them, the tabular data sets, are accessible to consult the data through the API. And we have a whole bunch of consoles and we are growing up. We expect to grow up even more. An open data initiative, it's not only a portal. An open data initiative needs a, communi a community around it. So beside the construction of a new portal, we have set a plan together with a, so a bunch of initiatives and events to promote it and to create a community around it. We are giving presentations of the open data portal Actually, this one should be <laughs> one of those. Uh, we are doing internal diffusion actions. We have a training program. We are promoting events to promote reutilization of data. And we are training internal and externally to reuse the data. On the organizational structure, we have up here the strategic direction mainly led by the Secretariat of Transparency of Open Government, the IT area of Origin Affairs, and the IT area of CTTI. The running of the Open Data Portal is mainly held by the Data Government Office. And on the bottom, we have the interested groups, the users of this data. On the right, we have 
the government of Catalonia and all departments, which are the owners of the data, which are the ones that will provide the data that can be published. We've identified two new roles in each department, responsible of data and functional responsible, that will be in charge to coordinate data opening in each department. So, the strategy gives directions, open office gives advice, they publish data, they pick up the demand of the sector, and on this side relates to, to the general data. Uh, on the technological architecture that's behind this solution, we are mainly relate using a software open data platform which is called Socrata. That's a cloud solution. We are using it and you can find mainly two components. Socrata has on one side a catalog where we really reference all the data sets and has a store where we store almost all the data sets that's a, that are in the catalog. Socrata can be accessed two ways. The main one would be through web, typically a back web back office, but also can be accessed through an API interface, programming interface that allows you many other uses. This is for the uploading data, but also to accessing data. If we see down on the bottom, we have three different ways to load data onto Socrata. The most typical one would be through the back office web interface, where a user loads into the platform and uploads the file. But we also developed some sort of automation to upload files that you store in an FTP server. That helps us automate, in a better way, the uploading of data. And finally, there's another way to upload data doing applications, more complex applications, using the API. On top, we have ways to consume, to access the open data. The most typical one, the one we've just seen, would be through the open data portal, which is a web access to the catalog and to the data. But the same way you have the API Socrata. API is a very powerful way to access data through programming interface and allow us to build a specific application and especially tools of data visualization and analysis. Each of these products can access the data through a web access point to retrieve the data. And we can create specific visualization, let's say dashboards, charts, or maps, connecting to Socrata data. This can be typically embedded in a department web page to show, to better explain this information. Another typical case would be with Algolia Search, which is an indexing software that allows us to create searches. We've connected also Algolia with Socrata using the API and can do specific searches. And finally, we can create very, very specific applications using the API to access the data. This new architecture, mainly based on what we call data as a service, in reference of software as a service, we're providing data as a service. It's a new step in what we call the organization, uh, open data maturity level. We are jumping to a new level focusing on API, apps, automated publishing, and that stuff. We have still things to do, but we are now going up these steps. Uh, the potential of open data. We're going to see potential uses, and few examples already built of applications and visualizations that we have. 
the main purpose of opening the data, if of open data platform, if of course opening data of public interest. In addition, as I just mentioned, we can create visualizations and graphs of this data. But also, we can use this platform to integrate data between different informational systems or applications. Uh, we already have opened many data sets. Some of these are examples. Monthly execution of the budget of the government, municipal budgets, contracts, blood donation, map crops, and a whole bunch of things. As we said, we can access this data and make some visualizations, analysts on consulting. This is an example of how can we internally use software uh, open data platform to share data between information systems. If one information system has a data that wants to share with another, it can publish it on the Soka platform and another system can access it. That's much cheaper than connecting to different information systems, especially if there are not two, but there are several that can access the data published in one way, in one single site. Those are real examples that you can find on the GenCAD web that visualization or analysis of data published in Socrata that are accessed using one of those products that I just mentioned. In this case, we are using Power BI to access uh, uh, adjudication of budgets and you have dynamic graphics on the web. So a citizen and everybody can just play and uh, analyze the data dynamically. This is the same by counties, comarcas. You can choose one area and county and figure out the data of that area. Dynamically, the citizen can consult. This is an application specially built to compare municipality budgets where that access data through the API and shows it on the screen. You can just check on the web of the Generalitat. Another kind of very typical analysis of the data is creating maps. In this case, the data set has geolocation on it and connecting, in this case, is a product called Carto. It's connected to Socrata, and it allows you to create such a visualization a map with showing, in this case, the mass grave sites in Catalonia. And the last example is the one I just mentioned, using Algolia Searcher. We have a data set, which is the register of the public sector entities and you can easily search just typing a few letters you get very quickly and very easily the list of the entities that match your search and finally just to mention a little mm, facts of what we've achieved till now we have migrated from the old portal more than 135,000 data sets. We have opened almost 20 new data sets. We are creating new projects. We are making training sessions. That's where we are. What we are right now doing is uh, improving the quality and revision the data we've already published. We are cataloging new data that's already open on the department websites and it's not cataloged in the open data catalog. We pretend to do an inventory of all sources of information that departments have to identify new data sets that could be open 
this would be in a more long term. And we have the promotion of new visualizations and applications using open data. We have still some challenges. We, have, we want to increment the quantity of data, also the quality. We need to identify data with biggest potential for utilization to provide more value. We promote the open data ecosystems, encourage initiatives of reutilization. And on the more technological side, we're promoting the creation of visualizations, improving the quality, optimizing the upload system, and improving, trying to improve the frequency the data is updated. Data is a trending topic in IT. Open data in particular is um, on the focus of the government. And we, have, we believe that we have the chance to build a solution that could help the government of Catalonia to open their data and change the way the administration works with a more transparent openment and creating growing opportunities to the society. Thank you. Thank you very much.